Welcome back to the MyPro Golfer channel. Jeremy Franks coming to you with a special tip on how to best utilize your time on the driving range. Sounds right. Today we're at the Blue Heron Driving Range on Ken Island, and we're gonna talk a little bit about some tips on how to make sure you're gonna have a good, successful range session. Number one, you wanna pre-game where you gotta get the golf balls from, because if it's a pain in the neck to find out how you get it, so call the golf shop first, at the, the range you're gonna go to, and make sure you know whether it's a token or whether you can just pay right there, and how many balls do you get? That's a big deal. You don't wanna to have to go back and forth getting multiple things of balls. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is what do you want out of your driving range session? Are you trying to meet other golfers? If you want to meet other golfers, get yourself right in the middle of the driving range. If you're trying to have an alone session, if you're right-handed, get on the far right side of the range. If you're left-handed, get on the far left side of the range. It'll be a lot easier for you to not talk to people if your back is to them. Tip number three, and this is big if you're struggling with drawing the ball, or hooking it too much or fading it too much. So when you're on the right side of the driving range, and I'm speaking to right-handed players right now, it's a lot harder to get a visual swing of a slice because you're gonna try to bring the ball back into the range on the right side of the range. So if you're trying to learn to draw the ball, set up on the right side. If you're trying to learn to fade the ball, as a right-handed player, you want to want to get on the left-hand side so you can see the ball go back into the center. And the center of the range is normally where the flag sticks are, so you can work on releasing the club or holding on to the club based on what kind of swing issue you have. Spoke a little bit about this before, but tip number four is crucial. Don't hit more balls than your body can physically handle. And the reason that is, is as a workout, this is a movement pattern. It is a workout, just like any other workout you would do. Your muscles will get sore and tired. And when you get tired, your body will start to break down and you will start swinging poorly. So when you're thinking about how many balls you should hit, think about your physical ability to make good golf swings. And when you start to get tired, that's when you quiet it down and take a break. And hopefully you'll be watching the other videos so you know how to keep yourself from getting too worn out by swinging well. Hopefully this tip was helpful for you. Hopefully you got a lot more out of how to be a great driving range person and player, and you can really get better on the range as you practice the things we talk about on the MyPro Golfer 24 YouTube channel. Guys, like below, subscribe. We'll see you next Thursday at eight o'clock.